Howdy folks, my name is Brian Ellis and I'm super excited to be sharing this demonstration video for Sounds.Pink, a project I've been working on for a while that harnesses the power of artificial intelligence to turn all sorts of motion into MIDI control data. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the website Sounds.Pink and go click on First Time. So since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to be showing y'all how to use that downloader. So you can click on that. First thing it's going to do is it's going to prompt us uh, to allow it because it is an unregistered developer. So you have to hit OK. Now, the first thing we're going to need to put in here is this custom code. So this is how you link a sounds.pink browser to a sounds.pink desktop uh, counterpart application. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a stage and choose from one of these three different surfaces. Pose does full body capture, Emotion does facial recognition, and device is used by phones to get device orientation. So if we go to Emotion and we let it load for a little bit because it has to uh, load in some kind of big neural nets, um, it will give us a code up here in the top right. This is a code that we are going to type in here uh, once it shows up. Now, something else to keep in mind is that the web browser loading sounds.pink doesn't have to be on the same computer as the desktop client. In fact, it's specifically built so that way they can be in different places to enable uh, socially distant collaboration. All right, so it's now loaded and we have our code 7EVE. -E. Now make sure we, when we type it in, it needs to be in all caps and we are now receiving data. So this is a neutral face. Now we're happy, sad. And this is MIDI control data being sent to the virtual output sounds.pink. Um, I have Max open, so those are also options and I can also you know, turn off the output. So if we go over here, I have an Ableton window set up where the volume parameter for this particular track, Plum ASMR, is mapped to the surprise value. So notice it's either very low at negative infinity or you know very low decibel level, but if I get a surprised look on my face, it shoots up all the way. So let's uh, try giving this a performance. All right, that was a very basic demonstration and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what else we can make together with sounds.pink. Thanks so much for watching.